good to see you. It's good to see you. And welcome to Jamaica. The CCLD stands for the Caribbean Canada Emerging Leaders Dialogue. And it is an outgrowth of the Duke of Edinburgh Commonwealth Study Conferences, which started in 1956. Some of the alumni from that program decided that they would get together to create the CCLD so that we could have this dialogue between the peoples of the Caribbean and Canada. Princess Anne is the president of the CCLD. We selected six people who are participating from Jamaica. All of those Jamaicans have gone elsewhere. Today I'm off to Toronto and I am off to the Caribbean Canadian Emerging Leaders Dialogue. It's about having emerging leaders come together uh, cross-culturally and across nations to discuss um, challenges and successes in their own environments. The 12 leaders that we invited are from different countries in the Caribbean and Canada. We're going to have a roundtable discussion on labor issues. The study tour is really about destroying barriers and the building The challenges and the issues you would have come across on your tour what role from Canada. Should the labor movement play? Jamaica emerges within the context of the new world. There are 120 of us from all across the Caribbean and Canada. And so before you even think about the leaders who were presenting to you, here were a group of emerging leaders that you had so much to learn from. The knowledge I've gained and the experience I've gained as well as the friendships and the, and the networking capabilities will definitely be utilized in my day-to-day -day working environment. You it know? was really wonderful to see leaders from across the Caribbean and Canada share their experiences of how they really became leaders. These 12 emerging leaders will leave this program understanding more of how they can contribute. For those who weren't from the Caribbean, they will be our ambassadors also. We had the opportunity to show them tourism in Jamaica. Good morning, everyone, Good morning. and welcome to Dolphin Talk. This is the best trip to Jamaica ever. What I've seen in Jamaica since I've been here, it's absolutely excellent hospitality, the best people in the world, and the dialogue we've had with the individuals within the country will be very beneficial to my career moving forward. Scotia Bank and the representatives has been out of the way to make us feel comfortable. Leadership is one of our internal priorities and a key strategic initiative, and this is an exceptional forum to bring emerging or high potential people together, allow them to network and interact with each other and have discussion over some tough and difficult topics. And all of that really helps to develop and hone and nurture the leadership skills. Jamaica has been very, very good to us. And we feel we must take a leadership position, our giving back, our identifying where there's need, where there's opportunity, and where there are gaps in, in public funding and make sure that we're there to impact people's lives. The delegates had a chance to meet the princess, but also to meet um, distinguished Jamaicans. It was a wonderful experience. I would say it was a life-changing experience. I met many persons who later became leaders in the countries that they were from, and we interacted at that level, at a, a really high level, because the persons who came to speak to us were already leaders. The Jamaicans who have gone, you can listen out for them, because they are going to fulfill leadership roles in the future. We have to find ways and means to help the underserved. And the big challenge with that is um, to not be parochial in our thinking, to look globally, right? And so I always look for opportunities globally um, that will help me to, to bring this sort of exposure and assistance to, to our own citizens here in Jamaica. It's a tremendous effort on the part of the organizers led by Sandra Glasgow. In pulling together the teams to give the kind of guidance that the young leaders will need in order to help them to develop their own understanding of the issues of the region and indeed to position themselves to lead in the years to come. The teller takes a summer break. See you in October. The teller was brought to you by Scotiabank Group.